Hello and welcome back to a kooky corner of YouTube. It's the 1st of October. Yes, yes, it's the 1st of October. And the 1st of October means that we're going to take a look through all of the beautiful postcards that you and other people have created throughout the whole of September. There have been so many beautiful well thought out just stunning pieces that have come through this month i'm, I'm <laughs> continually say this but i am always blown away by what you come up with for the prompts and our prompt for september was autumn huga autumn huga which means cozy comfortable things that we kind of fall into during the season of autumn um these are the two pieces that i've got here that um i am well the ones that I did for this this prompt and so the first one was this one which was a little bear who's out in the woods he's got a little mousy friend <laughs> and um, his new scarf and it's a nice blowy day but he looks very happy with himself all is peace and all is well in his world and then this little bear it was all about bears for me. <laughs> this little bear has got a, a nice cup of hot chocolate. And again, he's surrounded by the falling leaves and the colours of autumn. So those are my two pieces. One of them was a needle felter background with a plique on top. And the other one was stitched with a plique on top. Well, I'm sure you're all wondering what everybody else has come up with. And so, without further ado, run VT.
So I think you'll have to agree with me that all of those pieces were absolutely stunning. I, as I say, constantly blown away by how wonderful and how wide ranging the pieces are that we get and so many ah uh, it was it was cozy autumn all encapsulated in that one little reel wasn't it so now we're moving on this is the first of october and you know that means that there's another prompt and the prompt for this month is going to be spooky cute spooky cute that's going to be the prompt for this month. Um, you can take this in whichever way you like. I have taken it in my way, <laughs> as I would, um, in this kind of a fashion. So first of all, I've got a needle felter background in like dark blues and um, it's on a black piece of felt. So it kind of melds into each other. So we've got this little ghosty guy here. He's got two pumpkin friends. He's got two special stars. It's all in twos. But then he's got other stars around. He's got a little bit of glitter on the pumpkins. So there's a little bit of frost coming up. Can happen. It can happen on a November morning where it's a little frosty. Frost starts to creep in. And so this little ghosty is having a whale of a time, having a great time with his two pumpkin pals. So those are all applique pieces on top of a needle felt background, which is then been backed again and blanket stitched around. Number one. Number two, we have Boosh Room. <laughs> Boosh Room is uh, a ghost who has decided to he wants to blend in he's on a hideout from something so he's hiding out in the forest with his mushroom friends <laughs> uh, although I, I think this guy's a little bit shocked to find out that he is not in fact a mushroom but a boosh room which is a ghost mushroom <laughs> There's always a backstory. Um, so this piece is stitched fabrics. I've got a little bit of shiny fabric there going on as well underneath that I stitched down, a bit of organza that went over the top, stitched in two, and a little bit of embroidery going around the side, and the applique, and the obligatory stars. <laughs> and we've got a little bit of glitz in the background and on the leaves of these little plants here. So a little bit of glitzeroo going on there. And I'll show you my process. Um, I'll grab out my sketchbook so you can have a look and see how I try and pull these things together. So we're into the sketchbook. Sometimes I do this, sometimes I don't. Sometimes it kind of comes, but I had an idea. Oh, I had ideas. So Boosh Room came first. <laughs> And this is my little sketch of what I wanted to achieve. Um, there's going to be slight differences. There always is in between two different pieces. But I try and keep-ish to the brief. Um, so, for example, we kind of got them in the similar places. Um, one of the stars has migrated over to that side only because I thought it fitted better. Because my plants I stitched higher up on the piece than they were here or it just didn't fit as well i also raised the level of the ground on this one so that they were sitting more comfortably within the the ground of the area so yeah i sketched them out first i'll show you a sketch of the second one that i did i had an idea for doing this one as well this was a little ghost and his bat friend um which i may still do i may still add these into the equation as well it's all right, my microphone keeps flopping down. It's been very awkward today. Um, so that may, I may, I might even still do this if I have time. This month's going to be supremely busy though, and I'll explain why in a while. So we ended up with this one, and let me move my piece of paper. Let's see, scribble page. This one. Here we go. So this is the sketch I did, Just balance that on there for a second, 
getting self-comfy. Um, this was a sketch I did for this one. So this one kind of ended up, again, there are little bits that are different, like the positioning of the stars and stuff. But I've got a little plan going on around the outside as well. So I don't always flesh it out with colour. Sometimes I just put down little notes of what I want things to be. So in this occasion, we've got glitter stars on both of those sides. Needle felt a background in a navy and dark blue wool, which I did. Two felt pumpkins and a felt ghost. And I also, when, once I got stitching, added in some background stitching on top of the needle felting to do these um, circles around Mr. Ghosty. Um, so, yeah, that's it's, sometimes it's a plan like that. Sometimes I go from pictures that I've already, you know, sort of drawn out and thought, yeah, that's going to translate rather well. It's just sometimes easy to sketch things out before you do them. Sometimes you know, if you're doing an abstract piece, I, I don't need to sketch that one out really before I do it. But if it's going to be a character-based piece, then yeah, I'll probably give it a little sketcheroo. So yeah, I think that worked out fairly well. <laughs> so those are my two pieces for Spooky Cute. And now, guys, it's up to you. So you have until the end of October. I'm going to say the 30th of October for you to get pictures of what you've made into me. And so I'm just going to hold this microphone for a minute. The best way to get your pictures to me is to be in my Facebook group. The Facebook group is a great place. I will never miss your pictures. Instagram has been a bit hit and miss. Uh, I've had to go searching and sometimes the hashtag's not been working. I'm still going to use the hashtag, so still do it if you prefer to do it that way. And the hashtag for this one was going to be Kooky Postcard Sal 2024 and it's going to be Oct, O-C-T. Kooky Postcard Sal 2024 Oct. <laughs> so that's going to be the hashtag. And as I say, the best way, the best way to get it to me is in the Facebook group. Link will be down below. If you're not already um, a member of the Facebook group, it's a good place to be. We've got lots of really good people there and lots of lovely artwork being shared and needle felting and all kinds of things. So pop along and you will also get postcards of the projects that I do on the channel here. You also get postcards? No, scratch that. <laughs> you get patterns of the things that we make here on the channel and they're all going to be in the file section uh, of the group. So if you search there, you'll find patterns going back for the last, since July, I think it's been for the last few things that we've made here on the channel. It's a nice place to be. Lots of lovely people in there already. And when you've done your postcard, you can post it in there and I will instantly pick it up. It will be picked up straight away because I'll be able to see it. So there we have it. That's going to be our... Um, what's going to be one of my focuses for the next coming month. Uh, the rest of my time is going to be spent doing two challenges, two art challenges. So I'm doing Mab Graves' Drawloween, and I'm also going to be doing Arty Fartober, which is the one we started last year in Annie Claxton's group on the Arty Fartist channel, which I will also link down below. Um, if you want to join in, please do it's going to be a drawing a day or if you're doing the light list it's going to be a drawing every few days with mabs graves's um drawloween i think she's got the main list which is every day she's got a light list but she's also got a weekly list as well so it just makes things a little bit easier if you push for time anyway i will leave links down in the description below again and i will be back here soon with very with with lots of things actually with lots of things that i've got planned for the rest of october so stay tuned <laughs> have a great day and i will see you back here very soon with something else bye for now <laughs>